Now let's talk about why in the world we even do a titration. First of all, let's talk about how biodiesel is made. Biodiesel, in an organic shape, is what's called a triglyceride. It has three fatty acid chains attached to a glycerin backbone. When we make biodiesel, each of these fatty acid chains are going to have to attach to a methanol molecule. However, in nature, the fatty acid chains that are attached sometimes fall off the triglyceride and they go floating around in the oil. We call those free fatty acids. Now, that's all fine and dandy, but the problem is, when we're using potassium hydroxide to make the biodiesel, what it's supposed to do is come in and clip these fatty acid chains away from our glycerin molecule and then the methanol attaches. If the fatty acid chains have fallen off by themselves naturally, or I like to think of it kind of like they're rusted away, then they can't really attach to the methanol. And in fact, they like to attack the potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide and make soap instead. So we bring in our potassium hydroxide. Its goal is to sever these. It, they attach to methanol, but if there's any of them floating around, they come and grab it and there's not enough left to completely cut our triglycerides clean so that we can make biodiesel. So when we titrate, all we're doing is we're just measuring how many of these fatty acid chains have broken off the triglyceride and are floating in the oil. That way, by using the titration method that we figured out, we know that for every liter of oil in the oil we played with today, we're going we're gonna to have to add an additional 0.6 grams to counteract any of the free fatty acids that have fallen off in there. They'll neutralize with the free fatty acids, and they'll make soap, and then what's left will still be enough to effectively go in and cut off the remaining fatty acid chains and bond them to methanol. The combination of a fatty acid chain and methanol is biodiesel, fatty acid methyl ester. And that is why we do a titration. To learn more about titrating, visit our website at utahbio.com. We have several other videos there. All of our kits come with instructions that will walk you through the steps that we did today. We also have lots and lots of resources that explain why we're doing a titration. Thanks for watching.